so the main reason I want to put this video out guys is uh, take this off a bit is this wool blanket me and uh, Mrs Bushwhacker have been working on because you remember the other video where I was using bags I, you know, I had a few comments saying what bags and what sizes and everything so what we've come up with is uh, one of my wool blankets which it costs me nothing, it doesn't owe me nothing so a standard wool blanket which I think is a uh, queen size I think so it was a full blanket and what Mrs Bushwhack had done for me is she stitched it together like that all the way down and turned it in back into the right way so you can see where I'm going to go with this but this just this blanket alone in your bag this is what I'm going to use in the summer so this will be my standalone uh, warmth look at that it's just got to finish that off she's uh, broided a bit of bushwhacker in there but in the in the summer I'm not going to take a sleeping bag I'm just going to use this as you'll see in future videos so you can just you know obviously climb in when you ground the in just climb in the in the wall blanket and you're insulated top and bottom or if you want double insulation just just lay it over you like that obviously in the winter I'll be using this as well you know putting my mat inside and me me sleeping bag so great piece of kit plus you can make it into a bag and you've got an extra cover for outside but it's, it's amazing that you get something for for nothing and this is probably one of my best pieces of kit yeah so uh, like I said it's cost me cost me nothing you know I got it sourced it from a charity shop originally I got a few of these so look at that guys excellent but what I really love is you know you're hiking you got all your gear you're hiking out and like you've seen before you made a bed like this you know if you're really proficient at it you're probably looking 20 minutes 25 minutes and then you've got this wool blanket in your bag which you decide you know the ground's too wet or there's loads of critters or whatever pull this out of your bag knock yourself one of these up and what I'll do is uh, I'll make sure that seams on the bottom between the two poles just to give it a bit more strength so if you want to look back in my my other videos or the video on on making this bed so you come out yeah, another scenario guys you come out you've been on a hike and then you think oh yeah I'll knock one of these up you've got your wall blanket with you and I tried this the other day it's so comfortable it's much better than the bags and you don't need no no ground mat so just threading the poles through but this is a much better system than than bags plus it's going to uh, insulate you better as well I'll just play around with it when I lift it up Bit 
alive, that one. I'll just rearrange the, get the blanket tight before I uh, push down on these poles. So there you go, guys, roughly right. Obviously it's a lot wider than when I was using the bags. So I've just sprayed the, the tripods out <coughs> a bit more. <laughs> Moment of truth, although I've tried it before. Muddy boots on it as well, a bit high. Now look at that, that's quite a substantial bed. But, you know, if I had another, you know, my sleeping bag or another wall blanket, and also got my top with me as well, so quite a light system really. But like I said, 20 minutes to knock up the tripod. And with the wall it's, uh, and the springy poles, it's, oh, it's, it's beautiful. How nice is that, guys, eh? It's, it's um, better than the seats I've got at home. So comfortable. So, and it didn't take up a lot of room in my bag. So, like I said, it can do a, you know, this blanket can do a lot of things. So this is definitely, uh, a good piece of survival kit for your bag you know if you can make up two tripods you're, you're laughing so I'm gonna do a, a video in the future I'm gonna do a night here you know put the tarp up and have a fire and have a cook up with this system see how I get on sleeping overnight I haven't done a you know I haven't slept on it overnight so that'll be a be a test but you know, it's going to be beautiful. What I've, what I've uh, you know, I've laid on it and I've sat on it, so it's. I think it's going to be a lovely night's sleep. So that's another way of uh, another experimental thing for me to sleep out. Another way of sleeping out. But I think this is, it's going to be my uh, favourite. I think this, uh, this will top the hammock. So yeah, get out there, guys, and uh, dig out there my wall blankets and uh, just sew, sew it together I think I explained myself what I've done with it but yeah, to get yourself a good bit of stitching join the two together and you can see how solid it is and ever so comfortable so I'm pleased with that we come up with this idea so you youngsters out there you know, get around your grandmas or Get in a charity shop, get yourself a wool blanket, it costs you pence. Learn your, learn uh, the skills to make two tripods and there's no excuses for you to go, you know, hiking, camping, whatever. You know, get out there guys, you young, you young generation. You know, you've seen, you've seen my daughter Becky go outdoors. You know, if she can do it then uh, you young lads can can easy do it. So, uh, you know, get around grandma's, like I said, go through uh, her cupboards and see if she's got any nice wool blankets for you. on the younger generation in this in this video you know it's Easter you young lads you know I've come out today two cup of soups which cost me next to nothing a wall blanket that's kept cost me next to nothing 
you know, and I'm outside. Oh, I've got an alcohol stove, but you know, you can make a fire, or whatever, guys. And you could go out for two or three hours of your day, you know, get yourself off them machines and come outside and just enjoy nature and learn the skills to make a tripod. It's so rewarding, you know. Get out there and it'll it'll boost your confidence, and uh, you'll you'll have a real sense of well-being doing something like this. So I encourage you, any of you young lads out there that are watching my videos over this Easter period, you know, get out there and uh, make yourself this piece of kit and go and go and get yourself a cup of soup or whatever, or a, a hot drink, a hot chocolate or something, and. Uh, let me know in my comments if you're, if you're going to take up the challenge. You know, I'd like to to hear that you you've done something and you've made a tripod or a bed or you've even sourced a wall blanket. You know that you you're making progress and you and you're thinking that way. I think it's uh, you know I'm trying to encourage other people out there. You know, I've done it with my two daughters. So you know, if you if you like watching me, don't just watch me. You know, go out there and. Uh, do something for yourself and uh, you'll get a, a great sense of achievement. So I, I thought I'd uh, add that into this video. But it, it doesn't cost you nothing. You know, the price you pay for games or whatever or going out to McDonald's or fast food restaurant. Just just put that money into into a little bit of equipment and, and, and you're laughing. You, you don't have to spend loads. You know, even on a saw to make the tripod and a, and a little bit of lashing or well, your parents probably you know got some things kicking around that you can have so it'd be interesting uh, to see you know you young guys leave some comments and, and, and get out and, and try this for yourself